The investigation into John Falcecchio has found the longtime confidant to the mayor made multiple unwanted physical sexual advances toward a woman who worked for Falcecchio in the deputy mayor's office. Investigators also substantiated claims Falcecchio sent the woman unwanted flirtatious messages. Falcecchio had been one of Mayor Bowser's closest advisors since before she became mayor. When the first investigation was complete last month, Bowser made her feelings about the allegations clear. I've been completely devastated by these allegations since they were made. John's behavior was wrong, period. Today, Bowser had less to say, particularly when asked if government lawyers were in settlement negotiations with either of the two women Felcecchio has now been found to have sexually harassed. We're, we're not prepared to talk about a settlement. But Vanessa Natalie, who led the investigation, acknowledged her office has had some talks with the attorneys for the two women. We've had some informal conversations with the parties, and uh, they'll be best to decide what's next, but it could possibly be settlement, but nothing uh, in, in stone yet. When asked if any settlement would be made public. Sometimes settlements are confidential. Uh, usually this kind of stuff is, is not public. A summary of the second investigation concluded there was no retaliation by Falcecchio or other government staff toward the woman who turned down his repeated advances over several months in 2020. Pelcecchio resigned in March after the first woman came forward. Attorneys for the two women issued a statement praising the investigation and calling Falcecchio's actions a disturbing and long-standing pattern of predatory behavior by one of the most powerful men in Washington. Sexual harassment should never be tolerated under any circumstances, and we urge the district to implement immediate and comprehensive reforms to safeguard others from being treated in this reprehensible manner. Felcecchio's attorney has not responded to repeated requests for comment on the investigations and allegations. The D.C. Council recently passed legislation directing the district's inspector general to hire an outside law firm to conduct a review of the mayor's investigation. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. The Washington City paper reports a third woman made similar allegations against Falcecchio. Those allegations were not part of the internal investigation because the woman is not a D.C. government employee or a contractor. According to an email from the mayor's office of legal counsel to the third accuser obtained by News 4 through the Freedom of Information Act, the office strongly urged that woman to file a complaint with D.C.'s inspector general or board of ethics.